Welcome back to another video from Dell Intrepid. I'd like to wish all my subscribers and new viewers out there a happy new year. I hope you had a good time and here's to better things to come. Now, on this video, I'm at Walton Pier, fishing on Walton on the Nays in Essex. Very well known pier for most of the people around here in Essex and, and around the area. So, um, I am a bit late uploading this video. I did this in late November. I did this. So, and the fishing, I can tell you now the fishing isn't fantastic I'll, I'll be honest I'll tell you that now but it was good to get out uh, the weather was pretty pretty nice uh, it was a little bit cold but that's when the lights went out the targets are pretty much anything uh, wrasse uh, thornbacks cod whiting obviously dogfish anything we can get our hands on uh, we're fishing the tide up for six hours and, um, and I'm with my brother today so I hope you enjoy this video um, please leave a comment if you can and also Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, put a thumbs up. All right, guys. All right, here we go. Welcome guys to another video and as you can see I'm at Walton Pier. This place I've been fishing all my life. Let me just turn you. I'm fishing today with my brother Harry who is in the orange. He's coming up now because he forgot his phone in the car. But yeah Walton Pier. This pier obviously I used to fish all my life. It's really run down now. The management don't care about it and some words on the street is they're not going to pay for any repairs. It's not making enough money. However, they've closed, they've closed it off there because obviously in the storms, pretty much before COVID, it's all coming up. It's all coming up. It's all slippery and dangerous. I don't know if you can see right on the end pier there, right at the end. That's, that's about to fall off any day now. So you've got the lifeboat over there. Rolling on the nays. This is where we're fishing today and hopefully we're gonna get some fish. The bait I'm using today is some ragworm from Nikki's Baits, which is quite close to us, which is only just up the road there on the seafront. We've got some peeler crabs. We've got some blueies, because I'm going for some, hopefully, thornback grace today, and some squid in there as well. Those are the four baits I'm looking at. On one rod I've got a two-hook flapper, and the other rod I've got a pulley panel rig. I've got half a bluey on that one. I've got some ragworm on there for now. It's currently low tide, so we're going to fish the tide up for about six, seven hours, and then probably go about, well, go when it gets dark really, about five o'clock. It's 11 o'clock now, so hopefully we're going to see a nice variety of fish today. I have, however, no one, no one in Essex, or I haven't seen anything, anyone do any squid fishing here, so I'm going to use this squid jig I got last year. Obviously, I was going to use it, obviously a lot before here now this is the first time i'm going to use it i mean i don't think there's squid down there but i'm going to give it a good go i've got my light spinning rod just there put that together got my raid my reel down there braid 60 pound braid i don't need 60 pound braid for squid fishing but you know it's a spare reel i've got so um hopefully we're going to try some squid fishing as well hopefully who knows i know there's rust down there as well I'll probably put a two hook flapper on that little on the little spinning rod as well and just drop it down the side of the pier. Maybe get some little rats to show you too. There's lots of species here. So um you know I'm just gonna play, have a bit of fun. It's nice to be out. Winds are low. So yeah. Yeah, that's hopefully it's gonna be a good day. Alright, so obviously we put a little scratching rig on here. 
all spinning rod that I said I was going to do. Got like some rag work. I don't know if you can see it. Some rat out of the way. It's probably going to stop now. It's been running around right for a few minutes. Yeah. It's gone full round. So I'm going to bring it up and see if I've got a bit of rats. Nope, no rats. They're picking at it, so we're going to rebate and go again. Right, Harry's just got the first fish of the day. It's taken a while. And look what that is. What is that, Harry? A whiting. It is a whiting. Congratulations, you can keep that. Well done, mate. Right, little update, guys. Um, two hook flapper on that one. Both uh, all on rag. This one is a pulley panel. I've got squid on that, whole squid on that. The bluey didn't work out very well. Um, so I've got some squid light on that now. And obviously I've got this little, my little spinning rod here with a scratching rig on, with little rag worms on, size one hooks. So we're gonna see how we do with that, just to show you a little bit more than a fish. Um, the guys next to us have just caught um, two whiting on a pulley panel. So the whiting are here, we don't really wanna show you any more whiting. If we do, I won't, I won't put it in the video. But um, there's, there's the whiting. Why don't mate, on squid, yeah? It's pretty much dead. See you later, mate. Right. Let's go again. Hopefully we can show you a few more species, but if there's any more whiting and we catch it, you won't see it, I promise. Well, I said I'll bring you back if there's another fish, and yeah, it's Harry. Little schooly bass. Nicely hooked as well. On ragworm. Couldn't get any rug today, or blacks. Um, which is uh, kind of annoying. I've been here five hours now, mate. He's got a whiting, two whiting, and a bass. I haven't caught anything yet. I'd rather blank than catch a whiting, if I'm honest with you. I know there's a lot of people that do like whiting. However, there's nothing really else to report. It's actually a very, very poor day. It's nearly three o'clock. I know high tide is half past four. And if it carries on like this, I'll be going home in the next hour and a half, which is a shame. But um, it's just one of them things. Um, thank you very much for watching my other video as well the other week. Uh, your support has been noted. So thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so, yeah, I'm sorry guys, but that's all I've got to report. I know the boys down there, they've only had a couple of white in. That's only that's that's all that's been fished out at the moment. An update on the baits. I've got again the two hook flapper on that one. I've got some crab and rag on there. I have got a bluey on there. I have tried for another ray. That is ticking along, but I have a feeling it's crabs. On this one I've just dropped down the side of the pier. And that's just got lugworm on that as well. I have caught crabs on that. Two crabs, but um I've just taken it off up off the bottom and hoping for a little baby wrasse. Hoping. And I have tried the squid jig, nothing as yet, as of yet, but I'm going to try the squid jig again at night time. So, yeah, apart from that guys, I'm sorry, but there's nothing else to report. Hopefully I'll see you again in a minute. Um, wind's picked up, the sun has set, or well, it's setting, it's pretty much nearly dark anyway. Got the head torch on, got the lights on. I did get snagged on one of my rods, so I've had to put that away. And the uh, the RAS rod I put away a few hours ago as well. So we're currently just fishing with one rod each, me and my brother. Uh, still fisherman here. The camera picks up the light very well, it's actually darker than what it is. Um, update, um, it's just been white and, white and galore, I think I'm on four or three, or four. Now he's at about six, seven. How many of you had? Enough, enough whiting. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna stick it out. It's about half past four now. It's roughly pretty much high tide now. We're gonna pretty much fish till five o'clock, and then we're gonna go home. It's been pretty poor, really. I have noticed the state of this pier as well. is It's terrible. I'm really sorry about the wind. I'm gonna fish against the wind. The state of this pier is absolutely shocking. They don't care about the pier anymore, which is quite disheartening, really. Uh, when you know this is the place 
when my dad took me when I was younger, this is where I learned to fish, catching lobsters, winning competitions when I was younger. Oh, cracking bite on that bud. That's a nice little knock. It's probably going to be a whiting anyway. Um, yeah, uh, apparently the one on the street, obviously on the pier, they have upgraded all their amusements and stuff like that. They spent a lot of money on that, but they're not going to spend any money on this pier where us fishermen love to fish down here in Essex, which is a, which is a shame. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's probably just going to collapse and just corrode away and, you know, that'll be it for Walton, Walton Pier, really. Obviously the fishing isn't as good as what it is in other parts of the country, and I get that. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit of a upsetting. So if you are thinking about coming in here anyway, before this all happens, because they're not going to spend a penny on this pier by the sounds of it, it costs nine pound a ticket for a day. The ticket opens at ten and it closes at ten, so it's open for twelve hours every day. Um, we've still got some ragworm left. I wanted some blacks earlier, but I couldn't get hold of any, so that could be one of the reasons. Because I was hoping for cod today and some ray, but that wasn't meant. That wasn't to be, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so hopefully I'll show you some more fish in a minute. If I do catch a whiting, I will show you, just so you can see a bit of a fish. But <laughs> this has like been, it's like my third proper fishing day out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much going. I don't know if you can see that. There's proper, proper knocking. That's the pulley panel rig. Um, I don't know what it could be. But um, we'll see what happens there. Right, I'm going to stop rabbiting on. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. I know it's been very, very boring. It's just been mainly about Walton Pier and the odd fish. Oh, Harry. Oh, yeah, Harry did catch a bass. I forgot about that. He caught a little squally bass. I do have a bite on that rod, so I'm going to bring it up and I'll show you what it is, even if it is a white. Let's see what it is. All right, let's see what this is now. By the way, I did lie to you. It was, it's a two-hook flapper that's on this. Two-hook flapper. Oh, oh, that's me, I'm going home. <laughs> Snapped. Right guys, so you just saw there that obviously I snapped off. Which kind of upset me a little bit. The whole day, if I'm honest with you, even though it's nice to get out. It is nice to get out. It's just coming back here and seeing how poorly treated the pier is and no one cares about this place. and Catching white in and snapping off twice. It means I'm going to go home. I've had enough anyway. I'm very tired. I'm very, very tired now. Enough is enough for me today. So I am sorry if you didn't enjoy this video, but if you did, there is a lot more better content to come. I do promise you that. Um, I've got a lot of plans in the future coming up with obviously a few friends of mine as well. So um, if you have liked it, please like and subscribe to this video and subscribe to the channel. That'd be fantastic. Um, leave a comment as well. It'd be good to catch up with some people that I used to speak to a lot when I did my videos about a year ago. I'm back now. Not as much as I used to be, but I'm back. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to pack down. I'm going home. Take care and stay safe. And as I say every time, guys, always remember to be in your rubbish. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy, Harry. Who's a good boy? Well done. See you later, guys.